that jazz do you have any insight into whether like you know say trauma can be passed down through generations through epigenetics that that you know that sometimes some of the conditioning we have is not ours at all but our great grandfathers or whatever have you any insight into that or i mean i don't really myself but just as a personality has its own makeup and its own set of patterns that are different to the person next door so the family collectively also has certain issues because it's been bred in the same space and with the same influences and the same parents and grandparents so there is it's like in the group personality the collective consciousness of that there can be definite issues that relate to that family so as well as decoding your particular personality and its and its stuff you know i'm very aware of certain patterns within my family and i can see it in my brother and sister i can trace it back with my parents and actually my parents parents i can see uh, where that came from um so it, in fact if you if you do that it, it does help you because it makes you realize oh it's not just me it's this it's this thing and already when you see it like that you realize it's not you it's a thing that mm. affected and informed you but it's not you so it almost helps you understand it's just an influence that this being had it's good to know the pers group personality of your family a bit yeah i, I was i was thinking about it and and like shame is a big thing uh, yeah in my family and um and it actually was very relieving to think that oh that's you know that's passed on that's nothing personal to me i've got it but but it's not mine uh it was <laughs> was something some kind of freedom around or, or loosening about that on that realization yeah yeah it's not yours but it is affecting yeah. your lives so therefore it's yeah. your uh, dare i say it responsibility but no one else can get rid of it but you mm. i shouldn't say yeah. get rid of it go beyond it but you yeah yeah that's and you're doing that work in a way for the family in a way as well absolutely um mm. i'm thinking of i'm not going to name names but i'm thinking of people i know of where there's a particular <clears throat> was a very strong matriarchal figure <clears throat> whose influence was really quite negative and you can see in in the daughters and then in the daughter's daughters there's a lot of females in this family you can see it you can see that influence like dripping down it's amazing it's absolutely amazing you can see the source and it's not just the kids it's the kids kids and and i've also seen where that line has stopped and you can stop that line so if you do that in your family you are deeply affecting the group personality of your family whether they get it or they're interested or not something yeah. is stopping and if you've got kids you're doing a major service to them by doing that yeah. because you're actually kind of cutting that line and that transmission yeah. that's going on that otherwise just seems to reproduce and gets passed down and down yeah. and you're teaching the children that they don't have to be a victim of it so it's, yeah. it's like um, you, you're doing it for yourself because that's in the end, but there is that outcome. So you can't do it for the child. That would be back to front. You, you only do this primarily because you can't not do it. But there is a very real uh, knock on effect to children in a family and what you are showing and demonstrating to them that this thing even if they're not aware of what it is that shame or whatever it is yeah. that it stops with you it, it's yeah. an incredible thing yeah. it's a real rebirth it's a real end of a line in a family tree um i've kind of explored that whole topic at several different points in my life um one more recently but it was previously probably about 10 or 12 years ago i just had this insight that this behavior pattern i had you know kind of being histrionic or something at that point it was like this isn't even me this is like my grandmother and so i kind of explored it there are some books out on that more recently when i was looking into sort of a traumatic pattern um, i got a book that's called it didn't begin with me and it's about 
trauma patterns that get passed down and they're sort of in your conditioning, but in your neurobiology. Um, yeah. And that was helpful to look at that too, um, because, you know, my grandparents on both sides were Greek immigrants and my, on my mother's side, they were Greeks living in Turkey who were, you know, ethnically cleansed. And my grandmother was an orphan and, um, and I could just see like, she was really hard to deal with my grandmother. Um, you know, I could just see how th that was like just registered on some level. But then when I s woke up to the pattern, I'm like, this isn't even me. It was in me though. You know, it was, it would like get almost like activated or something. Yeah. Doesn't it help? Like we were saying with Colin, doesn't it help to see, oh, it's not, it's not me. I didn't I eliminate it but it it helped me and it also helped when i could actually go wait i think things are passed down from generation right. to generation you know when i was in the picture book business there was a quite famous picture book artist and we got to know him and his wife when they came to visit once with his family and uh so the family came is a daughter and a son and the mother and the father and they visited us here and normally we just see the parents on their own but the kids were around, so they came, and they were in their teens at the time. And um, they came, and it was like an invasion. Now, when the parents came, it wasn't, but there was something about the fact that the whole family unit were together, that they acted in a way that was that they all knew that was their code, that was their world, their family's world. And they brought it into our house, like a kind of cloud around them. And we, we were outside it, we couldn't penetrate it. I, I remember it very clearly, it was like, God, they, this is their group personality. I didn't use that term then, but looking back, it was their group personality. And of course, they're all comfortable in it. And it's, it's like a comfortable slipper to them. You know, they're absolutely comfortable with it. And it's uh, cozy and everything. Even if they're fighting, right, it's comfortable because it's what they do and they know it and they're used to it. So the personality likes it, but from outside, it can look insane, absolutely insane. It's important to get out from the family sometimes because when you're in the middle of it, you can't see it because you're too subsumed within it. You know, I, I, I am aware mine is very strong and you know, I'm, I'm really in it <laughs> as you commented many times. Yeah. yeah right. The danger with it is that it's comfortable because that's what, makes you unconscious it's like being in a hot bath right wow. you just slip down oh, it's so relaxing because it's so warm and cozy and well known and it's unthreatening well not all aspects of it obviously but in general yeah it's the safety of the known my point is that even though you're uncomfortable with it it's comfortable in relation wow to if you were to leave right. that family system uh i'm not just talking about f physically i'm talking about you know psychically emotionally in every way then that wouldn't be comfortable to your personality right. sure right i have a brother and a sister and i can see the family traits in them and it's very strange um and on, on one level i'm part of that family and that's great and in another way i'm not at all go up a level to the absolute level we don't belong to that family we belong to the the earth and the sky and you know as the native americans would call it and so part of this is living a life knowing that while also here we have again the balance of absolute and relative while also playing out your role as a an apparent member of that family which is beautiful too but to the personality the idea of aligning with the fact that we don't ultimately belong to this family is threatening mm. yeah because it gives us a lot yeah I mean, part of it, I mean, it's on so many different levels that gives us a lot, isn't it? I mean, it's identity as well. I've got yeah. the identity of the sort of dutiful son, you know, the good yeah. man, the good uncle, 
yeah. whatever. I'm and all those things are good, and there's nothing wrong with them, of course. But it's once again, it's what you do with them, what the personality does with them, how it feeds off them and needs them. So it, there's nothing wrong with any of it. You know, it's just life doing its thing, and it's great. But we're looking at this part that needs that to feel okay, and that is linked to your suffering. Because it comes essentially, I'm trying to bring this full circle now back to where we began. It comes essentially from a kind of unworthiness thing in a way, because otherwise you would be fine before that without the need of being that role of the uncle or the brother or the son who the mother appreciates in a certain way or, you know what I'm